Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. Do 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 do. Hello, hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If we haven't met already, hello, hi, the name's Quinn. It's very nice to meet you. I am 24 years old, I have a full-time job, currently working from home, and I also like make things and sell them if I make them. Today, I am gonna be stuffing my cash envelopes here for you guys, and exciting news, I got the nominations. I know, I know. Who would have thought I would have actually been able to do it? Here's the thing, it's not that it was difficult getting the denominations of, you know, money, but the fact that it wasn't an easy task for me to do, it was, you know what, I'll tell you guys the story later. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and get started stuffing these cash envelopes here for you guys. If you guys don't know what that is, it's just a form of budgeting. Simple, easy, kind of. I'm gonna make it sound like it's not but it is actually easy. If you're someone like me who's just really bad at swiping your debit card and you will definitely spend rent on, you know, things that you don't need to spend rent on, it's a way of making sure you don't do that. So, can you tell I haven't actually spoken to like real people all day? So, without further ado, grab for yourself a tasty snack or a lovely beverage. I have some hot chocolate because I have been freezing all day. I really should get a glass of water. And let's just get right into the video. Okay, so getting right into everything here. This here is my bullet journal. Look at it, it's so pretty. Full of paint splatters. Um, it is a dingbats journal. Really nice, high quality, faux leather, great for the environment type of company. Fantastic. My favorite pen to use is this Pilot G2.05. Great pen weight, line weight, doesn't stab the pen. Fantastic ink. Writes beautifully. So we're just gonna go into the spread here, and oh my gosh, look at that! Oh my gosh, oh, I love this. Setting up this week's spread made me so happy, so happy, oh my goodness. It is the final week of October, you guys, so I needed to think of a fantastic, really fun, like cats and costume theme. So of course, Wizard of Oz, like, come on, you guys, fantastic. So the way I do my spreads is I have my weekly to-dos here on the left and then my cash envelope breakdown here on the right. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get you guys all zoomed in a little closer so we can see what I'm writing. All right, so this is how I write out my breakdown here is I have my bills that are coming up for the week, my weekly spending, so money that gets put away every week that may or may not get spent that week. I now have my little sinking fund down here which is for Christmas. And then I was thinking about it. Cause you guys know I've been trying to figure out how to show, you know, budgets and cash envelopes being married when, you know, I, husband's side of thing is kind of secret. Not secret, private. So we conveniently get paid on the same day every week, so I kind of just treat both of our incomes as just one joint income that comes in and just budgets off of there. So it's not really much of like a splitting the bill or anything. Everything just goes into one account. But I decided I do want to show you guys if and when I do get paid from any kind of side hustles and how much I get. Not necessarily showing like a little breakdown of what that certain amount is going to go towards, but just kind of showing side hustles as they happen. You guys know I do graphic design, illustration, photography. I used to do dog sitting. Who knows if that's going to be able to happen again. I would love for it to happen again. And then YouTube. So yeah, I got paid from YouTube. So I want to show you guys that. But let's just get into writing out all this stuff first and then I'll tell you what I did with my YouTube pay. So the bills that are coming up, I have my Target credit card that's coming up. It's just an automatic payment that comes out, but I did want to add on a little bit more for this week. So I'm doing $50 for my Target card and then Blue Shield, which is my joint dental vision insurance, which I still have not gone to go and get my eyes checked because I need new glasses, but um, I'm scared of the public right now, so it's fine. $40 goes towards that. And then Anytime Fitness is my gym that <laughs> I don't go to, but I want to and need to. Um, but yeah, uh, $40 for that. And then rent. I'm actually, I'm so glad that I decided to do this this month was putting away this $315 every week. I split up my entire rent, which was $12.50 into four weeks, put aside that $315. It's like $315, $320-ish um, every week. And it was great because <laughs> looking at my account and tracking all of our spending, Brian's like me. You swipe your debit card without paying attention. That definitely would have been spent 
and it would not have been that great. It would have been very stressful. So I'm really glad I put that money aside. So the total for the bill, wow, I can't talk. The total for the bills this week is $445. Fantastic. Scooting on down here. Oh, hi kitties. Um, so weekly spending, so we have gas. I said last week I wasn't gonna put away any money. I'm gonna put away some money for this. <laughs> you never know, you know? But also additionally, I am actually going to work in office tomorrow and other little adventures that are happening. So I, I figured I'm gonna need to get gas. So that gets $15. Food is gonna get $120. Toiletries gets its normal, what do I do, 10? I did all this math before I, yeah, $10. Food, um, food, anything for the cat is also going to get 15 And then for my therapy that I do every week, um, it's going to get $60. Um, I have kind of like a cheaper therapy because I go through a, like a therapist internship program. Like they're interns. Um, they're like still going to school for being a therapist, I guess. I'm not fully sure, but they, you know, my therapist does his job, so it's fantastic. Um, cash app. So this is our kind of guilt-free spending that we do so Brian has the cash app card because he's not really he doesn't like the idea of cash envelopes carrying around cash so little cash app card um, so that gets 35 and then I have my self gifts I call it self gifts it's just it's a lot it sounds a lot better than allowance or just like spending it's like self gifts it's nice <laughs> and then Christmas so that's also gonna get $35 okay so up here, let me just write this for you guys. So for YouTube, I made for that month, last month, $179.33. And so yay, see Quinn, this is what happens when you actually upload. Um, so basically $180, um, that essentially already got spent. Not on any of this. <laughs> I had a shopping cart for shipping supplies and materials that I needed to be able to create and ship and sell all of the stuff for Christmas. So YouTube, you guys basically paid for it. Thank you so much for watching. Yay. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get everything all nice and pretty looking here for you guys and we will be right back. Ta-da! Oh my goodness. Emerald City, you guys. So we're just going to get started into this here. It's so pretty. Look at their faces. Fantastic. This here is my magic box. And I got it when I was in fifth grade. So I don't know where it's from. But I do have something that's similar. Kind of. No hieroglyphics. But the same like setup. Listed. Linked down below. It's just a copy of the link. It's not an affiliated link or anything. I don't get money if you buy it or anything. Um, just trying to help people out. But this is where I keep all my cash envelopes. Additionally, when I was a waitress, this is where I kept my cash tips during the week so that way I was not tempted to be spending it. So we're gonna find the envelopes that I need. I don't have a Target one. I think I have a blue shield one? I don't know. We're gonna find out. So here's my one for rent. Demi card, Christmas, gas, toiletries, therapy, cash app, self gifts, car, Naviant, and no Brian's bills this week. Okay, so we're gonna pull out some of the envelopes that I got before from Tina, and we're gonna turn these into some envelopes that I need. Okay, so now we're <laughs> we're gonna start stuffing them, and I'm. I hope that I did the denominations right. I'm sure I'm going to mess up at some point, but we're going to do this. Okay, so Target. I decided to get the striped envelope because stripes and polka dots. Um, it's going to get 50. So, shoop, just like that. Easy peas. First one down. Easy. Nice. Confident level. Way up. Um, blue shield. Hello Kitty, because hello. Um, it's going to get 40, so two 20s. 20. 40. I swear, I feel like I'm back in second grade learning how quarters and dimes work. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so 40 right there. Um, Anytime Fitness is also going to get 40, which the gym. Hello. Easy. 40. Um, 
Okay, and then rent is gonna get three fifteen. So this is this should be all of rent now. So we're in just twenty what? Okay. Fifty, a hundred, fifty, two hundred, fifty, three hundred, and fifteen, which I think I think there was a week, like the first week I put like an extra five or something in there, so it's probably is gonna be more than twelve fifty now than what I need, but I'm still gonna count just to make sure. Struggling. Okay. This should be all of my rent. 50, 100, 50, 200, 50, 3, 50, oh, stuck, 400, 50, 550, 600, okay. 20, 40, 60, 80, 700, 20, 40, 60, 80, 800, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1000, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 30, oh, 20, 40, 50. Cool, so I do have an extra $15. I'm going to hold on to this and put this somewhere else. So I'm just going to put you right there. Okay. Okay, cool. So I only... Fantastic. Nice. Well... Yay, rent is paid. We have all of our rents. <laughs> it's gonna be on time, gonna be fantastic. Let me just. Ooh. Nice and thick, right there. Can put this in right. All right. So, gas is gonna get 15. So, 10, a 5. Yes. How much do we have now? Because I'll be honest, I'm not sure if Brian's needed to fill up on gas or not. Because if he has, he has not used my our card or anything. So 20, 30, 5, 45, 55, 61. $61. Okay, cool. Which Brian's car has been a hassle, so he's like constantly, now he's getting to the point where I think he's going to need to start putting gas in his car more often, just like a little bit here and there. Because a lot of, a lot of technical errors with that car. Alright, and the next thing is food. So, 120 with food, so we should get 100. And 20. Look at this 50. Wow, so elegant. Okay. Okay. Toiletries is getting ten dollars. Toiletries is looking thick here. I think there's just a lot of ones. Yeah, there's just a lot of ones. Okay. So twenty, thirty, five, forty, five, fifty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. Cool. It's great. Every week I do this and I always think, oh, I need to get some toiletries. And then I just never actually do actually need to get toiletries. So it's good when I actually realize that I do need to get everything all at once. Right here. Okay, so the cat is going to get 15. Which actually, I do think I need to get her some litter here probably next week. So, so we good. 10, 15, 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 33 dollars. Yeah. So next week I should, I'll be good to get her a litter. Therapy. So 50, 30. Okay, everything's looking promising still. I think we're still doing good. I'm not running out yet, but this is where things get sketch at the very end for me. Okay, see how well I did counting denominations. Okay, so cash app, 35. So it should just be 20, 30, 5. Yeah, okay. So far, so good. Okay, self gifts, 20, 30, 5. Oh my gosh, you guys, I did it! <laughs> okay, hold on, I'm not going to celebrate yet. I know I did good. 
but you you know you never celebrate before you cross the finish line. So <laughs> Christmas 2035. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Have you seen that Facebook group <laughs> where it's like gripping foods with force? <laughs> Okay, so let's see. How much do we have for Christmas so far? Let's see, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, and I guess I'll put the extra 15 in here. Why not? Don't think I need it anywhere else. So, 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, 100, 5, 10, 110. Um, yeah, so fantastic. And yes, Christmas is in a Halloween envelope because it's just cute. All right, so that's everything. That's all of our cash envelopes and I didn't mess up. Firsts for everything, you guys. I'm so glad we shared this moment together. Okay, so that's gonna do it for my cash envelope stuffing video here for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I know I did. I didn't mess up at the end, you guys. Nobody's gonna be yelling at me in the comments. <laughs> It's funny, I genuinely think it's a very funny image to think about you guys watching me on your phones or computers and just being like, the five, just get the five from the gas. <laughs> it's just funny to think about. <laughs> so for all of y'all that were here just to watch the satisfaction of people stuffing away cash and you don't wanna hear the extra stories, it was nice having you here. I'll see you next week. But for those of y'all who wanna hear the story of how I messed up the simple task of getting denominations, Cheers. So Sunday, I was thinking to myself, I'm gonna be really good. I'm gonna be a fantastic YouTuber. I'm actually going to film and upload this video on Sunday. I'm gonna go, I have some time. I'm gonna do all the math off camera because <laughs> that's a mess. Get the denominations, come back, film. Everyone's gonna be so proud of me. I go to the bank. For those of you who don't know, I bank through USAA. There's not a USAA bank or ATM in Nashville unless somebody out there knows of some like secret one inside of like a grocery store or something like let me know but i can't find any so i normally just go to this like small local bank that's near me just go to the atm withdraw the cash it's fine so i go there on sunday it's an actual bank so i go there and they're closed because it's sunday so like duh so i google it there's a bank of america atm probably like 10 minutes further down the road Okay, it was probably more like five minutes, but I get lost really easily, so I made it more like 10. And Google told me that Bank of America ATMs now let you pull out specific denominations. And I was like, all right, I'm hyped. Don't actually have to go inside and talk to people, because awkward. I'm just gonna go to an ATM and it's gonna be awesome. So I pull up to the ATM, I finally find it. It was honestly a little difficult. But I pull up, it's a drive through ATM. I wait another, what felt like 10 minutes, but it was probably more like three or five minutes for this guy in front of me who was just struggling. And when I pulled up, all hyped, my interaction with the ATM was basically like this. The ATM was like, like, yo, you want some cash? And I was like, oh my God, yeah, I want some cash. Dope, so like, how much do you want? Give me like this much money. I got you, here's your money, have a great day, see you later, take your card. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Wait, are you are you not gonna ask me how I, is this, is this all 20s? Are you, hello? That was literally how it went, you may applaud now. So I'm thinking to myself like, rude, okay, but I'll just go to the bank on Monday, you know, film the video on Monday. I'll ask the teller to exchange the denominations then and it should be fine. Get off of work on Monday at five, go to the bank. Apparently they close at four. I looked it up and the other closest bank was just closed. So at that point I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna go on my lunch on Tuesday. So that's what happened. And that is the story. It was not that exciting, but when I told it to Brian, he didn't give me the type of reaction that I wanted, so I'm telling it to you guys, because I feel like, you know, budget buddies, you understand, right? Please, someone. Anyways, I feel like this outro has been long enough, so I'm just going to wrap things up here. So, without further ado, today's pet of the week is... Ching! Look at this cutie! This small, sleepy little cutie. I want this blanket. I want this dog. I want this bliss that I'm sure the dog is feeling right now with that deep nap right there. The cutest little puppy. You just want to eat her up and just snuggle in. I just want to shrink and be small so I can have a full body hug with this pup. If you guys want to see your pet featured in next week's video, be sure to DM me pictures over on Instagram. And who knows, their faces could be right here where my face is. 
If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a like. If you want to see more on my face and see me try to conquer the human race, be sure to subscribe. You can find me at all of my social media at Quinn Kaylin, we could chat, DM me, oh, we could become best friends. I love and appreciate you guys oh so very much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Oh, I almost got it. I'm almost down. I'm down. <laughs> Hello. My cavity, my cavity. There's no one like my cavity. <laughs>